Hello again, welcome back to another Path of Exile video. It's still me, Derp here. So, yes, first thing first, I do get a mirror drop this league. But uh, since this is my first mirror, it will just stay in my stash as a trophy to celebrate my first mirror. Sadly, I didn't caught it on recording when it happened, but it happens. And I, yeah, I didn't use it so the mirror doesn't actually affect how I play this league if I get a headhunter on the other hand if I get a headhunter I'm gonna sell it and I probably gonna I actually get some meaningful upgrades with my gear because at this point uh, every piece of meaningful upgrades is gonna cost like at least 20 exhausts so yeah I just don't think it is really needed to spend like 10 exhausts on something that only give me like 2% more damage so I think this is my final update because I don't think there's any meaningful upgrade I can make at this point so firstly compared to last time this helmet I finally uh, I bought it for 4 exhausts like I said last time uh, with all the suffixes I just keep rerolling prefix until I get a hybrid life tier 1 so I craft more life on it and it's good to go um, it still have an open prefix so if I can run into more harvest before I get 36 challenges uh, if I get 36 challenge I'm just gonna end the lead I don't want anything anymore so if I run into more harvest before that maybe I can try influence slam it for more ed uh, elemental increase elemental damage which is a warlock mod but um, most likely not you know uh, same goes with the weapon uh, it's the same weapon as last time but uh, we moved the crit roll so again I can influence slam it if I run into harvest that could potentially give us faster burn ignite faster ignite burn or uh, malevolence uh, aura effect both is gonna give us like 5% more damage or something. Next is the belt. Uh, I bought this with two exhausts, not too expensive. Uh, I probably snatch it kind of cheap because that's tier 1 life and then tier 1 damage and tier 1 fire damage. So you can even keep rerolling suffix if you want with harvest. So two exhaust is probably a steal but yeah you can try crafting it yourself with a warlock belt which can give you damage and fire damage you can just keep spamming scorch fossils trying to get this kind of belt or just buy it probably for a few exhaust i think five exhaust is gonna get you a similar belt pretty similarly so yeah, I still have an open suffix, so technically I can add more chaos resistance on it. Um, so yeah, that's the belt. And the glove, because I get enough plus one gem at this point, so I decided to craft the plus one to AoE gems to boost the flammability to level 25. With uh, level 21 flammability, which is I think one exhaust. A 21 20 flammability, I think it's around one exhaust or something like that. Uh, which, yeah, give me a few percent more damage. This is easy to get and it's not that expensive at this point of the league, so I just get it. Level 25 flammability. So that's the only change with my gloves is the craft. Uh, the major upgrade is the emblem. Uh, well, I don't even know if it is an upgrade at this point. Uh, it does give me 10% more damage, however, uh, after so goddamn long to wait for the remove a defense modifier and the life slam only landed on a tier 6, as you can see, 33 life, which makes me sad. Uh, but uh, it's still 10% more damage. Uh, technically, I can still keep rerolling some fixes with this amulet but uh, I because I need backs and I need ints so you, as you can see I craft backs and ints on it because 
uh, my old amulet has both hints and decks and if I don't craft it both my decks and my hints is not enough because the discharge requires 159 and my deadly element, awakened deadly element requires 79 decks and I only barely get 80 decks so <laughs> yeah I do need decks and the int on the amulet so but then again if I keep rerolling suffix until I land int or decks maybe I can yeah, technically if I can get decks and int where else I can craft minimum frenzy charge for even more damage but uh, again it is usable at this point so yeah that's the gear upgrade uh, also I got I'm not, I, I forget if uh, I got this jewel, video cluster jewel, last time or not, but uh, these two notes is gonna give me faster element burning. Both notes is gonna give you faster burning. Uh, and I also upgrade my one of my jewel to a watcher's eye, which have relevant damaging elements, you inflict deal damage faster. Uh, also have the minus mana cost because both my rings are unique and my amulet takes up all my prefixes. I cannot craft minus mana cost. So I got it on the watcher side, which fixed my mana problem basically entirely with combination of clarity. Uh, because uh, before that, I can run out of mana from time to time if I, I discharge this, every yeah. two seconds while mapping. It is never a problem in boss fights because you're not you're waiting for ten endurance charge to discharge anyway. So the mana problem is never a problem. But while mapping, if you're discharging every two seconds and if you get a high enough level discharge, you're actually gonna run out of mana. So the watcher's eye actually fixed the problem entirely. I think this one is also too exhaust. Again, not too expensive. Uh, and it actually gives more damage than a regular jewel like this one. Uh, a 4 mod jewel is way too expensive to worth it because getting a 4th mod on this jewel is only give you like 1 to 2% more damage, but they cost like multi exhaust each. And you need to divine it even. So I just decided that no, I'm not gonna spend the money on those. Uh, so that's the gear upgrades, I think. I don't think I have any more major upgrades with my gear at this point. And uh, again, after this amulet, finally I break 5 million DPS without any frost. Uh, for an at night build, that's like incredibly good with 5 million DPS without frost. So. Yeah, again, each endurance charge is 10% more, so if you can get a corruption on boots or an extra endurance charge that's 10 to 11 more than percent more damage. If you can get an additional curse, I think uh, you get vulnerability on it, on the chest, you can get 5% more or something. Uh, you can get some increased damage in the helmet, uh, some faster burning or malevolent aura effect on the weapon, but yeah, even if all of that combined is like 20% more damage with all of that combined, so I don't think that's too meaningful at this point. So um, yeah, that's the gear upgrades. Uh, let's show you the POB2. Um, okay, uh, configuration series, uh, hit by lightning damage with the Orb of Storm, and then cover enemy in Ash because Chieftain, Chill and Ignite, Chill and Shock because Skitterbots, Ignite and Burn. Uh, I don't think you. Yeah. It automatically can the Skitterbot shock effect, so taking this doesn't even do anything. But uh, the enemy burning, uh, fire exposure, and then 10 endurance charge, 
uh, has a spell recently which gives us uh, more mana regen and stuff. Uh, Lost and Learning Charge for the past 8 seconds. That's gonna boost uh, damage by 15% more because of this note. If you lose the Endurance Charge in the past 8 seconds, eight seconds you're gonna get 15% more damage. That's why I always discharge right before a ball fight starts. So, yeah, as you can see, 5 million DBS. If you get Sinner Swallow up, 5.5 mil. If you really want to, Bottle Faith, you're gonna break 6 million DPS. So, yeah, but 5 million is more than enough most of the time. You just discharge, put down your Orb of Storm, and then you can focus on dodging. So, that's good. Um, so that's it about the builds, I think. Uh, you can find the one with the POB to see how much, for example, each jewel is gonna give you, or you can add the influence mod to see how much damage you can get. But uh, I'm gonna leave you the POB in the description, and I think I'm also gonna include maybe the Deathless Uvalda with Maven which is pretty effortless because again, you never need to stand still and the Uber Elder fight, if you can never stand still and still deal damage the Uber Elder fight is not that difficult uh, finding openings to attack is the difficult part of the endgame fights if you can just keep running around, the endgame fights are kinda easy to be honest so, well until you get to the multi-boss fight like the fear then yeah, no matter how well you play that some combos is gonna fuck you up from time to time, but uh, I'm still gonna try to get those deathless. Uh, but with this video, I think I'm gonna leave you with the Uber to kill maybe the 5 way Legion. I don't know yet, I haven't decided yet. So, but that's the update. So, um, I think I'm gonna see you next week then. Uh, maybe I'm still gonna put up some videos about this build tackling the end game contents like 100% delirium and stuff but um, yeah I think this is gonna be my final update so thank you for joining and I will see you next week so stay lucky and have a nice day goodbye alright one thing I forgot to mention that I think is important and worth mentioning is that while this character is like an extremely extremely good boss killer uh, that's something flaw about it which is mapping uh, like this is the first character that I doesn't that doesn't make me hate uh, beyond mobs because with normal builds you just kill something and then the beyond mobs pops up like two of them you kill that two mobs and other beyond mobs spawn. Um, this character just bypassed that problem entirely because of the proliferation. Anything that spawns on top of other corpses are just all gonna die uh, automatically. Even beyond bosses just dies as they spawn after you get enough DPS. But at the same time, because you're on a 2 second cooldown constantly and your Enduring Cry has like a 3.5 second cooldown if after your discharge there's like 2 mobs, range mobs standing at the edge of the screen shooting at you because they're range mobs, they're not gonna walk over the other corpses uh, you actually need to wait 2 whole seconds before you can discharge on those and if those are tanky mobs, you need to wait for your Enduring Cry cooldown before you can get a big ignite on those. So if you discharge and there's like really some one or two mobs left, you still need to wait for your full cooldown to deal with them. That's the only problem this build has, I think. So if you really want to, you can get some cooldown. Uh, somewhere else but uh, overall it's not too bad because of the huge AOE you have most of the time most mobs is still gonna die but including beyond mobs but if there's like some range mobs left over it can get annoying because you're just standing around for two seconds without even 
not able to do anything. So sometimes you need to like think strategically and run around two or three packs of mobs and then discharge in the middle of them to ensure all of them dies or else you're gonna live with like two mobs standing still shooting at you and you need to wait for your cooldown so yeah I think this is a point worth mentioning but other than that this is a really really good build and I really enjoy playing it so that's that all right, a little bit elder. I think this will be a maven, little bit elder. So I cannot do this yet. I think little bit elder on its own should not be too bad I since we never to... really stand still and we can tank the shape the slam. But if maven is in the question, then yeah, you know. Okay, is there any stupid porcupine? I mean, not porcupine, propagators. Oh, you already faced. Okay. Should not be too bad. Oh, it phased again. <laughs> it already phased. Okay. Yeah, it, 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 it's not too bad when we we can keep moving. It's not too bad when we when we can keep moving. Oof! I almost got I almost got fucked by that. Okay, shape is that. Where is okay? Okay. Yeah, if if you can keep moving, you well that is not, not hard at all. If you can keep moving. Well, I mean, then again, I have good enough DPS. That's also the thing. That's also the thing. We have good enough DPS. So. Shit. 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 <coughs> Not even good roll. Okay. Bam. Oh. Extra clarity energy shield. That's that's good, right? Okay, I tried to record another five-way timeless battle, but the game crashed and made me lose like thirty seconds. So, um, yeah, let let let's let's try that again. I did a 4.5 cycle, I hope I can get a 5 cycle. Uh. Oh they spawn so far away. They they are they they will have slight positioning change. And and uh this is he's he's like too far away from each other and I don't like it. Please die. Push the back 
Okay, he dies. Wait, is he dead? I heard... I think I heard him. Okay. Ah, uh, this is... This is not really good. What, not hit him? Oh my god, that doesn't hit him. Okay, the positioning is so bad. They are so far away from each other. Okay, he's not doing the laser, which is good. What? The laser is still pressed? Okay. Oh, he... she actually didn't die. Oh, even the first one didn't die. Even the first form doesn't die. I think my Orb of Storm is too far away. Oh fuck. What? Oh I cancel my okay, this is bad. Ah uh, the spawn positioning is so bad for them. The spawn position is so ass for them. That guy's dead. Oh my god, this the spawn position is so ass for them. Holy shit, it's really ass. The spawn positioning is really ass. I cannot run between the, the bosses too, too good. Okay, he dodged it. He, he dodged my goddamn thing. My mana is gone. That, that should kill that. Okay, that doesn't have not spawn yet. Did it kill it? I think it did. Oh, that's 90%. That's just not enough to kill it. Ah, oh, stop using this attack, asshat. Is that 5 cycle? Is that more than 5 cycle? Do not Your sacrifice? Your skin. What? Why are you not taking damage? Oh god. Is that 5.5 cycle? 
Is that 5.5 cycle? I I actually lost track. Is that 5.5 cycle? I hope so. Good. This is I think this is the furthest the 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 the, the most uh most re the most bosses I've killed in a five way. Because I can run between two bosses with this build, so um, that's not too much too interesting stuff. Variable unique, I guess. But uh, two jewels. I think the first time I only got a 4.5 cycle, I got three jewels. This time I only got two. Good enough, I guess. That the time I when I crash, uh, I didn't even get a single jewel. So, well, but then again, the jewels are not that expensive. These, I carry this. These leaks. So, I guess that's it. Cool.